What is a passive host? Don't, uh, shit. <laughs> don't, uh, don't turn the video off. It's cooler than it sounds. Okay. Adventures in real estate. What is a passive house? It is an ultra energy efficient building that is designed to make the home safer, healthier, and more resilient. Oh, and cost effective. Now, passive house or passive halls started around 1988 in Germany and is designed so our buildings require up to 90% less heating and cooling energy than regular homes. It can be used in almost any type of building and the passive house or high performance building standard is the only internationally recognized science-based energy standard in construction. I know, hang with me. Let me first say that the name is a bit misleading and needs a rebrand, I think. Something about the word passive connotates negativity, but the principles are all positive from my perspective. So, how do we build a home to be ultra energy efficient and reduce energy by 90%, vastly reducing our operating costs at the same time? There are five basic principles to building a passive house. First, lots of insulation or super insulated. Think about wearing a sweater and the fact that it keeps you warm without the use of a heater. We use insulation on all sides of the house and often inside and outside and underneath. Second, air tightness. This is the one that messes with people's understanding of how buildings work because old school thinking was leaky and able to breathe. You've heard that, house needs to breathe. Now we wanna seal our house up without even a pinhole for heat or cold to escape. Third, now of course we do need our house to breathe. So we use an HRV, which is part of the mechanical system. And this mechanically exchanges the air without compromising the temperature in the house. It's magic. Think of this as the lungs of the house. 24 seven, bringing clean filtered air and helping remove toxins. Now fourth, now this one's a bit nerdy, but we try to eliminate thermal bridging. So like the name, bridging, these are building materials that create a pathway or a bridge for heat to escape. Uh, a metal plate from the inside to the outside, a piece of wood, those types of things. Lastly, this one's cool of course, windows and doors. We want high performance, triple paned, Passivos rated windows and doors in Passivos construction. So all of this is done to make the space super comfortable and healthy while driving down the need for heating and cooling all year round, saving money and reducing the home's carbon footprint for years and years to come. We're living through our changing climate and our homes need to perform in this environment. It's a key challenge for our generation and of course for our kids. Now buildings consume up to 40% of global energy use and contribute up to 30% of annual global greenhouse gas emissions. Now that's according to Passive House Canada and therefore a key piece of the puzzle towards a low carbon future. Stay tuned for details of this build that we're doing right now as we try to reach these targets in this 1940s Passive House retrofit. Now retrofit just means it's a renovation as opposed to a new build. Because I like doing things difficult, uh, new build, easier to become passive house. Retrofit, much trickier. Whew. I should have built new. Nah.